Good morning. Thank you for joining us for Textile Tuesday again. This time, I thought I would show you some of the fabrics that you might want to think about if you are beginner sewing. So the reason I'm talking about this is because we've got our six week intro and dressmaking course starting at the beginning of September. And people have been asking us, oh, what kind of fabrics are suitable and what should I be using and that kind of thing. And some of these fabrics, you're probably going to think, oh, gosh, for a beginner. But actually, that's the whole point is if you challenge yourself with something that's a little bit tricky, but you're safe in the knowledge that you've got the support there with your tutor, you're actually going to learn quite a lot. So one of the first fabrics that I wanted to show you is this beautiful soft needle cord. Now, again, you might think needle cord, beginners. But actually, it's not that bad. It really isn't that bad at all. And there are lots of different things that you can do that will make life much easier when you're working with a needle cord. So we have picked this out because some of the patterns that we include with the six week intro into dressmaking course are things like, well, you do a top and a skirt. So you've got kind of different options. Now, the corduroy works with both skirt options. So we use the viola as a really nice one to start off with. Now, again, you've got the option of having this just as a lined skirt, or you can make it reversible as well. So if you wanted to, you could have the corduroy for one of these, which kind of, you know, the, the longer version or the shorter version, and then pair that with a nice printed cotton, and that would work really nicely. We've also got the Desdemona, which is a lovely full longer skirt and again this made up in cord is absolutely beautiful for the autumn you know worn with a pair of nice uh, thick socks and brogues or boots it can work really nicely but again it makes up in lots of different things so you could make it up in a chambray that's more for the summer or even a lightweight viscose if you wanted a bit more of a swishy kind of skirt so both of those would work really nicely with the needle cord that we've got here so this is she says, having a look at the label. This is the Dashwood Wine Corduroy, and it is really lovely and soft. It's actually, I think you could almost use it for a shirt as well. So if you were looking for um, a kind of an autumn overshirt or something like that, then the Cesario would work brilliantly with this as well. So that is one option. Now, the other pattern that we use for the Intro into Sewing six-week course that we've got coming up at the beginning of September is the Celia Top. Now, Again, this is a really lovely kind of staple. It works brilliantly in lots of different kinds of fabric. But again, viscose rayon, people might think, oh, a bit slippy. Actually, it's not. It works really nicely. You don't need to overpin it. You just need to know how to handle it. That's all. And that's what you learn when you come and do the workshops. So the next fabric, which is this one. Actually, I think this is beautiful. We're starting to get a little bit more of the kind of autumnal colors coming through now, but this is absolutely gorgeous. It's called, she says, trying to find the label. There we go. It's called Popping Candy and it's a Marocain crepe. So it has a little bit of texture to it, but again, it's a viscose. And again, it's got some beautiful colors in here dark plum, dark teal, a bit of olive, a little bit of mustard, that lovely blush pink there. Lots of different colors that you can wear with this. So this is great. Now, it would also work with a lot of our dresses as well as the Jessica. So you could make that as a top if you wanted to as well, or even the Ada dress. But it'd be quite a nice option to start with a Celia if you were learning how to sew. Now, again, just to kind of color things up a little bit, we've got the stretch cord, which is a bit heavier than the, um, the kind of wine colored one that I've just showed you. So this would be perfect for the Desdemona skirt. It has a little bit more body to it. So it's got a little bit more substantial, but it has got that bit of stretch. So although we've kind of got it here for the beginners, patterns that we use again this would be amazing for the ferdy dungarees for the nail trousers for any of the jackets that we've got so it's a really versatile fabric so this is lovely so this is stretch cord in forest green 
Now, another fabric that would work for the Celia top is this. I think the colors in this are gorgeous. It's another viscose. So it's a really pretty one with a navy background. Now, the color is called Moonlight Sonata. And it's a viscose chalice. So chalice means that it's a very lightweight fabric. So definitely suitable for um, blouses, that kind of thing. I think this would make up really nicely as a pair of silky pyjamas, actually. But there we go. So you might even want to think about the Rosalind for this. But I think it's really pretty. So again, this is lovely. Dark blue background, but with lots of other colours in there that you can kind of play around with. So again, you might want to think about how you can coordinate the items that you're making on the Intro into Sewing course. Or you might want to just have two completely separate ones that you know are going to work with other things in your wardrobe. That's the beauty of making your own clothes, isn't it, really? The next fabric I want to show you is the blue seersucker gingham. Now, again, this would work really nicely as the Celia. Now, you can include the frill or you can leave the frill off if you want to. It's entirely up to you. But I love this. This would also work as a Jessica top. We've got a dog moved in next door. There we go. <laughs> a little barking dog. It's not Olive, I'm afraid. It's a bit too yappy for Olive by the sounds of it. Yeah. Olive's got a proper woof. Um, but again, this is a really gorgeous fabric to work with. It has a seersucker weave to it. So again, it's going to have a little bit of give, but it's because it's cotton, it's actually really quite sturdy. So this is a really nice one to kind of work with, but it makes it look a little bit different. So again, as a top or as a dress, to be honest, a Jessica dress in this would look incredible. Um, or you can kind of dress it up even an Ada would work really nicely with that too. Linen, of course, is going to work with everything because it just does. Now this is slate blue washed linen. Now again, this is an absolutely gorgeous fabric. So this you could use both as the skirt or one of the skirts and as the top. Either or, mix and match. You could have both made out of the same fabric if you want to do. So it kind of looks like a dress, but isn't. Depends on what kind of thing you're into. But this is lovely. And again, this color is a really soft blue. So it's going to work with lots of different um, skin colors, skin tones. So this is really nice. This is slate blue linen. Now we've also got an intro into sewing course starting. So if you or you know anybody who is completely new to sewing, that's a really nice one to start off with. So we start with very, very basic things, how to use a sewing machine. We make a tote bag, we make a cushion, we make a little zippy bag as well. So all of those are brilliant ideas, especially if you're thinking about making things for Christmas. I know, August, and I've said the word but there we go. We have to start soon if we're thinking about making things. Watch, um, keep an eye on this space because we will be talking about more of that kind of stuff very soon. Now, you might, if you have visited us at the shows, seen some of the photos that we have on the wall. And I'm actually wearing this fabric for um, one of the Hippolyta dresses that I've got. Now, this is called Crane Island, and I love this. Again, it's a beautiful pattern. It is quite a large one, but this would work so nicely for the Desdemona skirt or the Celia top, actually, because they're very, very simple shapes and you've got quite an expanse of fabric. So you can really showcase the design on this particular fabric. It's a cotton lawn, so it's really nice and easy to work with. It's called Crane Island and I absolutely love it. It's 54 inches wide. So it's a really nice one to work with. So again, that would work with lots of different things as well. Now, again, trying to kind of color things up and see how they all kind of work together. I love this. This is the washed plum in the Raimi fabric that we've got. Now, again, this would work really nicely for both of the skirts. It might be a little bit heavy for a Celia top or a Jessica top, but it again would work really nicely for both of the jackets that we've got for the Gertrude and the Greta. So more for kind of jackets, trousers, that kind of thing. Ferdy dungarees, this would be amazing in if you want something that's a little bit more of a warmer colour to kind of take you through into the autumn. So this is the Plum Raimi. And then we've got another cotton lawn print. So this is 
poppy appeal. There we go. But again, it actually works really nicely with that plum Raimi. So if you wanted to, to kind of think about, you know, matching garments together to create outfits, you could think about making the skirt in the Raimi and then one of the tops in the cotton lawn because actually they work really nicely together. I do think that's so pretty. That's lovely. So there we go. The intro into dressmaking course starts on the 12th of September. It's an evening one. So it's quite a nice one to get to after work as well, which is perfect. And then on the previous day, on the 11th, we've actually got the intro to sewing workshop starting. So that's the four week course, which is for complete beginners. So we've got lots of different things going on. We're also going to be at the Farnborough show um, on the, at the first weekend of September. So we'll see you there. And also to let you know that applications for the diploma is open. So if you want to have a look and uh, see what the diploma is all about, please get in touch. It's a year long course. It's absolutely fantastic for the amount that you learn and um, experience that you gain, as well as make lots of friends as well, which is really cool. So there we go. That's it for this Textile Tuesday. And hopefully we'll see you again next week. <laughs>